Hello world, my name is Keon, and when I last left off, I gave you an error. How's it feel? We're going to fix that error real quick. Remember how I told you how we walked through the information? Well, here's what's going on. It's telling itself to shoot here, shoot here, shoot here, and it's not updating these guys at all. So, what we got to do is make sure that it updates these guys as well, because these guys are important. They're getting the location and updating it, but only when they are told to update it because so far it's only going to it's going to dynamically update it but only once because it's being told to update it once whereas if we send it through here it's going to be told every time this finishes it's going to be doing it again finishes again finishes again so let's get started another fun thing we can do and I'm going to show you this for for fun is if you want to have kind of like a delay on the turret as far as like uh it tracking you what you can do is set it up here I'm not sure exactly how it's gonna work I just had this idea right now but uh bear with me and I'll see what I, I can do actually you know what would be even cooler instead of hard coding a delay in here we'll add another delay like this so new action and I think it's delay hmm is that condition no that's definitely not condition Hmm. I forgot where the delay is. Okay, so actor, destroy, no AI, no, no, that's definitely not. Hold on, map. No, that's not, that's not it. There we go, miscellaneous, delay. And then what we're going to do is between here, in fact, let's give it to this guy. Between here and I guess, you know what, that's actually the only place where we can set it up. So start here and then finish, and once it's finished there, it'll go send it through here. So it's going to update only every second. You see that blue? We could add a new... I want to say integer variable. Is this? It? Yeah, int. Oh no, it'll be a float. It could be a float. Okay, that's good to know. Int or float. They're all color coded, and that's how you know that this won't work because it's blue, but it's not the right blue. But uh, we could add an integer there and make it random if we wanted to. But it's gonna only from here to here is gonna take a second to shoot. So actually, that's retarded. That's not gonna work. That's that's gonna whole a whole nother system that I have to get into. Sorry, I can't get into that now, but I just blew my own mind on accident. Well, let's do this. So we set up the delay, and we put it here so that way it's constantly looping. So it could should sh keep shooting at us. Did not mean to do that. Why would you do that? It actually looks kind of cool. So Eureka, it's shooting at us and it's following us, but it's always following us. It's not gonna give up. Why won't it give up? Well, we need to make it give up. That's why. Oh! Oh, yeah. Let me test that out. So, I'm dead, right? And that's exactly what it should do. Prior to me setting that up, what it would do is that it would just keep shooting the spot where I died at. But now, it, since the dynamic trigger volume follows me and teleports to my location when I spawn, it's going to keep following me. So, let's get out of here. Now, <clears throat> how much time do I have? What we need to do is set it up to where it's only going to shoot us under certain conditions. And I'm always forgetting to set my timer. So we should have these guys over here. Now, trigger volume, 7 touch. Go ahead and delete that just to be safe. And select your trigger volume within the level. Should be the big green one. And set up a new event using the trigger volume and it should be touch very important go to this, the settings of this trigger volume and set this to zero when it's one it's only going to work once now let's do some testing real quick shall we I think we shall what we want to do is I don't think we need these guys to be set up anymore because once, as soon as it's touching this, it should be shooting me. So let's break the link between attach the actor and get location. And when it's touched, it's gonna 
shoot here. So let's see what happens that way. Follow the floor information. That's not working. Could be a few reasons why. Let's go over them. First off, if you'll notice, this guy has an instigator as well. We want to attach that instigator to our player. This guy is getting very popular, isn't he? So I'll move him over here just uh, to get the threads out of the way, threads of info. And when it's touched, it's going to shoot. When it's untouched, I don't know what it's going to do. Let's try this again. In theory, when it's untouched, it should stop shooting, right? So let's get out of the way. Nope, it still wants to kill me. Why does it want to murder me? I have no idea. So let's set up a very complicated way of doing this. And of course, there's probably a much more simple way, but I could be mistaken. In fact, let me pause real quick, check something, and then I'll get right back to you. Okay, I'm back. Uh, like I said, I'm going to set up a way to make it so that this thing doesn't want to keep killing me every time I step out of the field of view, aka the trigger volume. Video didn't want to record after I left for some reason. So it's a good thing I didn't really do anything. Okay, so what's going on is once it's touching, it's going to keep... This is exactly what's happening. It's going to keep on uh, sending this little bit of information through. So this information only applies once. After that, it can keep going in a circle. So that's why, even though we touch it once, it's going to, you know, continue. So here's what's going to happen. We're going to set up a Boolean system to make sure that this only gets sent through when we're actually in there. So for this, we're going to go to Toggle. Of course, new action. Toggle. Toggle. That that's pretty much it and disconnect the touch from disconnect the touch output from where it's currently connected and uh, put, put input the touch to turn on on the toggle and untouched to turn off on the toggle action now we will going to ignore this and this what we want to do is add a boolean so new variable bool and it's going to be false by default just leave it like that so what's going to happen is that this is going to compare this is going to switch the results of that boolean so now we want to send it over to the next bit of information now this is going to compare the boolean and if the boolean is true we want it to shoot and we still have this circle to deal with so what we have to do is I guess get rid of it for now see how, see how that works and if, the, if it's false it's not gonna do anything it's not just gonna it's not gonna shoot us at all so let's work with this and see what it gets us again I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing off the top of my head but I'm trying really hard not to paste the code I'm trying to keep this professional somewhat I'm lying here we go so we are in that area oh look at that look at that alright so cool we're outside of the area so let's get in there uh oh okay so it works but the turret itself is not working it's doing exactly what we told it to do it's just not doing exactly what we wanted to do so we gotta figure out how to tell this turret to do what we wanted to do problem right now that we need to fix is that it's only getting shot once That the circular code method that I was doing wasn't working it would have just kept sending oh no why did I do that would have just kept sending the information through a circle that would just keep repeating itself so what we need to do is make it so that this and this is a theory let me test it out put the output of the spawn projectile all the way into here so it's going to constantly compare the bull, boolean. And you know what? I thought I commented this, but I guess it didn't want to listen to me. So I'm going to reset this up. Almost pointless now, but I want to make sure we have consistency. There we go. So let me also get rid of the comments 
object comments on these guys. There we go. Whoopsies. Oh, that doesn't work that way? Fine. But yeah, so this should work because the way the code is flowing now is, let's follow this. And remember, we also have this guy down here to take care of, but he's basically much handling himself. He, he's fine. When the player, this guy, is touching the volume, it's going to toggle the Boolean default to true, turn it on. And if it's true, we're going to send this information out to make the turret start shooting. Now, once the turret is done doing all this programming for shooting, it's going to come back here, check again, and then keep shooting. So, downside with that is this delay right here. With the delay right there, it's going to slow down the entire thing. So, I wish there was a way to not make it do that. I'm pretty sure there is a way, but for now, let me just get this through, and I'll see if I can do that real quick, and then start up the next video. So if it's not touched, it's going to turn off, going to make sure this is off. The boolean is going to see that it's false, and it's not going to do anything. So that's my logic right now. Let's see if the computer agrees with me. All right, so I'm in there. It's shooting at me. It's shooting at me like crazy, and now it's not. It's shooting at me, and now it's not. So basically what I just did is I just made a fake field of view with no cameras, just a volume setup and a little bit of kismet. And now keep in mind what I told you at the beginning. Don't apply what I did directly to what I'm doing. Let's say you're not a really good programmer, but you kind of want to set up an old school Metal Gear kind of setup where you have patrolling enemies and they have their cone of vision, you know? What you would want to do is like you'd want to say set up some skeletal actors, uh, set up some socket bones on those skeletal actors, attach a cone builder brush to that skeletal actor's head, and every time a player is within that cone, you know, he sees him. But it's, it's a lot more complicated than that. But, you know, that's just the, the basic groundwork. So, again, for consistency, uh, we're going to select these guys, and comment, touchy. Oh, I got a phone call. This never happens. Well, thank you for watching, folks. Tune in next time. Comment, comment, critique, like, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Till next.